Okay, getting my screen set up. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me. I need to know if you can hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Lolly says yes, thank you, Lolly. <clears throat> Bethy says yes, thank you, Bethy. Trolley says yes, thank you, Trolley. Tetsuro says yes, thank you. My tro I'm doing good, how about you? Ella, hello. Bella says yes, thank you, Bella. Ella says yes, thank you, Ella. Samuel says yes, thank you, Samuel. Mitra says yes, thank you, Mitra. Hanan says yes, thank you, Hanan. You, Vivi, you, Varian, you, Varian says yes, thank you. Matsura, hello. <laughs> Mary says yes, hello, Mary. Mwah, thank you, Mary. Okay, good, good. Matsura says yes, thank you, Matsura. Okay, well, thank you, thank you for being here with me because you know, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Yes. <laughs> and you know what we do. We always have a toast. We always start our class with a toast. So let's do it. Whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And we are going to have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast is going to be for the green team. Yes, you see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Oh, hot coffee. <laughs> Our second toast. It's for you. Because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump. Cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Woo! It's super hot. But I like it that way. <laughs> I like it that way. Okay, well, let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? And today we have one, two, three, four, five activities. Yes, five activities for you. <laughs> and talking about you, if you want to join us in the chat, you must subscribe to my channel. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. So if you want to join us in the chat, if you want to practice with us in the chat, you need to subscribe. And I do that not to be mean, not to, you know, oh, you have to subscribe. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out. Um, before I did that, there would be people who would be spamming and there was bots in there. And so um, since I changed it where only subscribers can join, it's been very nice. And so it's a good way to do it because we can practice together without any, without any distractions, without any uh, bad people. We have good people here. We are, we are kind people. We are friendly people. We help each other. Yes, we do. And how we help each other is we give examples, right? We learn by example. So in the chat, you'll see lots of sentences, lots of vocabulary, lots of examples for you to practice so you can see how English is formed, how to use our conversation skills. Yes, you'll see it in the chat. So um, by you practicing, and if you make a mistake, 
fixing your mistake. That's how you learn, right? So of course we always make mistakes, but the important thing is to fix your mistakes. So if you write your sentence in the chat and make a mistake, do it again, fix it. I will help you. And that's how we are going to improve our English together. Okay, good, good. Well, um, now I told you we have five activities, but I didn't say what the activities are, did I? So I need to do that. I'll do that right now. We're going to do form a sentence. I will write a pattern on the board and you will make a sentence based on the pattern. After that, we, we're going to do which one is different and it's a review and the topic is build. We did this a while. We did this a few weeks ago and we always need to review. So we do it once and then we review it again. And so we did it once, but we did not review it. So we're going to do that today. We got dictation cards right here. And after that, we got Lolly's Revenge. That's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. And then after Lolly's Revenge, we're going to do another review. It's a worksheet and a video. The worksheet is 10 very short conversations. We, we did, we did one, but we didn't review the other. So this is number, I'm looking down here now. Yeah. So we did 16. Well, we did 15, but we didn't review 15. Then we did 16. And so I, I forgot and I go, oh, we need to review 15. So that's what we're going to do today. So there are, this is number 15 in the worksheet and video series of 10 very short conversations and all the worksheets we do and the dictation cards are on my Patreon page. Go there, support me and you get all the worksheets and flashcards right there at Patreon. And right now there's a seven day trial um, campaign. So you can sign up and try my Patreon for seven days for free. If you like it, please continue and you get all the worksheets and all the cards we do in the live stream classes. And it's only $5 each month for all the worksheets and the cards. Okay. Did I see Tomas? Yes, I did. Hello, Tomas. There is Shams. Hello, Shams. There's Ella. Hello, Ella. Good. Bethy. I think I said hello to Bethy. Okay, good, good. Let's get into the activities now. Yes, Mitra, there are five activities for you. <laughs> All right, so we are doing form a sentence. So I will write the sentence on the board so we can practice. Yeah, hello, Tomas. Umesh is in the house too. Hello, Umesh. Okay, here we go. Activity number one. Form a sentence. So I'll go ahead and write number one here. Form a sentence. Okay, and it goes like this. Have you chosen? And then you finish the sentence. Have you chosen? And then finish the sentence. So we have have, and so the, the verb here is a past participle, and so choose, right? But then the past participle is chosen. Have you chosen? And then you need to finish the sentence. I'm looking at the chat, but if you need me to give you an example, I can do that. Or if you already have one and you could just get right into it, Go ahead and start, write your sentence in the chat. If you want me to give you an example, I can do that. Okay, Lolly, there? Okay, Lolly. Hey, man, oh, man, hello. <clears throat> okay, Lolly says, have you chosen the best shirt? Um, okay, okay. Okay, Tetsuro. Okay, have you chosen, how about this? Have you chosen a nice shirt? How about that, Lolly? The best shirt, um, okay, how about this? You can do this, Lolly. <clears throat> have you chosen the best shirt available? Have you chosen the best 
shirt available or have you chosen a nice shirt? Have you chosen a comfortable shirt? Have you chosen a colorful shirt? Have you chosen an inexpensive shirt? Have you chosen an expensive shirt? <laughs> uh, Umesh, have you chosen physics? Like in school, right? Okay. So have you chosen, okay, the micro, how about this? Have you chosen a microwave, right? So like, for example, Tetsuo, you walk into a home center or you walk into like electronics store and there are many microwaves for sale, different prices, different choices, different options, right? There are many choices. There are many different kinds of microwaves. And so maybe your sentence should be, have you chosen a microwave yet? How about that? Have you chosen a microwave yet? Tomas, have you chosen any dish yet? Have you chosen, or how about, um, have you chosen a dish yet? How about that, Tomas? Like if you're at a restaurant and um, your, your friend is still looking at the menu, right? Your, your friend has been looking at the menu for a long time. So you might say, have you chosen a dish yet? Like you're taking a long time. Uh, let's see, Cecilia, have you chosen any beverage yet? Yeah, let's, let's have um, like yet, like if you're ordering something or yeah, let, let's do that. Let's add yet. I think that's, that might, that's probably more, you know, common, right? Like there's more situations where you're using yet. Right? Have you chosen a dish yet? Right? Like, come on. Have you chosen a dish yet? Come on. You want to be here all night? <laughs> okay, Bethy, have you chosen a host for your wedding ceremony yet? Good. Yeah, let's do yet. So yet means by this time, right? Yet, by this time. Uh, man, oh, Manome, have you chosen the best car? So I don't want to say the best. Have you chosen a car? That, I, that's more natural. Have you chosen the best car? That's not so natural. Let's do, have you chosen a, like for example, a dish yet? Have you chosen a car yet? Lolly, have you chosen a comfortable shirt? Zara, hello Zara. Have you chosen your college yet? Let's let's add yet at this time. Oh, Monica, have you chosen the right YouTube channel? I hope so. It's right here. <laughs> let's use yet, everybody, buddy, buddy, everybody. Let's go. Let's use yet. Umesh, have you chosen bread yet? Shams, have you chosen a good friend yet? Bethy, have you chosen a good restaurant for tonight's dinner yet? I like it, Bethy. Good, good sentence. <clears throat> Bella, have you chosen to live with your mom? Yes, I have. Lolly, have you chosen the black shirt? Have you chosen the black shirt or the blue one? That works. Tetra, have you chosen a microwave yet? Samuel, have you chosen any friend in your class. Well, what do you mean, Samuel? Have you chosen any friend? So for example, Samuel, have you chosen a friend to do your report with? Have you chosen a friend to do the project with yet? Have you chosen a friend to do the presentation yet? Matsura, have you chosen a book yet? A book yet. Tomas, have you chosen a dish yet? Perfect. Come on, let's go. Choose your dish. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hurry up and choose something. <clears throat> okay, now Umesh, have you chosen green pens? We're using singular. This is, in this situation, we want to use singular. Okay? Or you could say, have you chosen socks? But um, pens, green pens, that, that, that doesn't really work naturally. 
maybe grammatically it's okay, but it's not really natural English. So have you chosen a pen yet? So you're in the bookstore or you're at the um, stationery store and there are many kinds of pens, many colors. Oh, we got a new green team member. Mwah. Yay, welcome to the green team. Oh boy, how do I pronounce your name? <laughs> Oh boy, you're gonna have to help me pronounce your name. So please um, describe if you can spell, do the, the pronunciation spelling of your name, please. Welcome to our green team, T. Right now I'm gonna call you T. I want you to um, tell me how to pronounce your name. Give me a hint how to pronounce your name. Setin. Is that it, Bella? Is it Setin? I get the T Setin? I'm not sure it the 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 pronunciation. Okay, welcome to the green team. Thank you for that. Thank you for your kind support. I appreciate it. And please let me know how to set in. Okay, set in. So the T is silent. So it is set in. Is that correct? Set in. If I am correct in pronouncing your name, please say yes. <laughs> set in. Is that correct? Set in. Okay, Shams, have you chosen the best restaurant for lunch yet? Okay, that's a, now, I've been saying like the best isn't so good to use, but in Sham's situation, have you chosen the best restaurant for lunch yet? So maybe there's, you know, restaurants that are for breakfast, like a breakfast restaurant, dinner restaurant, but like maybe the best restaurant for lunch. So that, that works, that works. Okay, Lolly, have you chosen the, okay, so, ha, okay, Lolly, have you chosen a video of Mark's to watch yet? Have you chosen one of Mark's videos to watch yet? Have you chosen one of Mark, one of Mark's videos to watch yet? Okay, Setin, I appreciate your kind support. Welcome to the team, Setin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Maya's here. Hello, Maya. Good to see Maya. Maya's in the house. Hello, hello. Oh, I like it, Mope. Have you chosen a direction yet? Very good. Okay, nicely done. I'm looking at the clock. We will review this tomorrow, okay? So um, it's always good to review. So we're going to go to our next activity now. Ha, Umesh, have you chosen a hat yet? Perfect. So I think tomorrow, we, we, we will review this tomorrow. And I think tomorrow, um, everyone's going to have great sentences. Uh, Mary says, have you chosen a new cell phone yet? So those, those, all, those are good sentences. Okay, let's go to our next activity because I'm looking at the clock and we have to be careful with time, right? Time is not our friend. Okay, Lolly, have you chosen one of Mark's videos to watch yet? Okay, one more time, Lolly. Have you chosen one of Mark's videos to watch yet? Thank you, Lolly. Hey, 7413 is in the house. Hello, 74. Okay, we're, we're doing a worksheet now. Which one is different? That's our second activity. Which one is different? And this, the topic is build. This is, rev this is a review and how we do these activities. 
Okay, Tomas, do you have... What, what's your question, Tomas? Yes, I have, or no, I have not. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So to Lolly's question, have you chosen one of Mark's videos to watch yet? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, is that is that is that your question, Tomas? Okay, which one is different? So here there are two. Um, groups of keywords. So each group, one, two, three, four, there are four keywords. So there are two groups. Group one, four keywords. Group two, four keywords. Then you choose one of these words that is different. One of these things that is different. And then of course you say why. You explain why. Communication is expressing your ideas, expressing your thoughts. And so this this activity is going to help you express your, your thinking in English. Okay, good, Tomas. Now, I always give this um, basic example. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. One more time. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because it is transportation. Bicycle is different because it can take us to many places. A bicycle is different because it has two wheels. A bicycle is different because it can go fast. A bicycle is different because I have one. So there are no wrong answers. It's just your ideas, your feeling, and you're going to tell us your idea which one is different in English. All right. So I have the worksheet right here. I will put it on the screen so we can do it together. And of course, you can join my Patreon and get the PDF file. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Setin, thank you. Thank you, Setin. Okay. Yep. Do, do the best you can, Setin, if you can um, write your sentences and I can help you with your sentences. And so if you want to do that, please do that. If, if you're working and you can't, that's okay. Okay, here we go. Let's... Okay, great, great, Setin. Okay, here is the worksheet. All right, and let's let's make some sentences. Let's express our our ideas in English. Please explain your idea, your thinking, right? There are no wrong answers here. It's your idea. Yeah, so you can look here which one is different. The topic is build and the direction. Choose one item and then write the reason why it doesn't belong with the others. And our, our groups are group one keywords, a calculator, money, rulers, blueprints. Group two keywords, bricks, a dump truck, a paint can, a cement mixer. One more time, group one keywords, a calculator, money, rulers, blueprints. Group two keywords, bricks, a dump truck, a paint can, a cement mixer. Which one is different and why? Okay, set in. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. And by you joining the green team, it, it, it tells me that you are benefiting from my, my videos and my live streams. So that, that's, that's nice to know. Okay, Regina, here we go. Regina, I think money is different because money is not school equipment. Okay, or we don't say, um, Regina, we don't say equipment. We say school item, item. So... Regina, good sentence. You just need to change 
equipment to item. So your sentence should be, I think money is different because money is not a school item. Not a school item. Okay, Regina, so I want you to fix your sentence. I want to see it in the chat. I want to see you to change equipment to item. Matsur, I think money is different because it's important. Umesh, a calculator because it needs power. Lolly, money because I love it above all else. S um, Setin. Okay, Setin, keep, I got, Setin, I have many, many, I have over 3,000 videos. So I have many, many hours of of videos for you to watch. Cecilia, I think a calculator because it's not used for math. Oh, oh, we can't use it for a math test. That's right, the t you can't use a calculator in a math test. So, Cecilia, I think a calculator because it's not allowed for a math test. It's not allowed for a math test. It's not allowed for a math test. See, there's no wrong answers. Lots of, that's very good, Cecilia. I like it. See, there are many, many ideas in the chat. Lots of people expressing their, their ideas, and I love it. I, I love seeing your ideas. Trolley, I think rulers, because it's, they are made of plastic, right? Rulers, so you're talking plural now. So they are made of plastic. They are made of plastic. Cecilia, I think a brick because it's too strong. Or a brick is, okay, strong, don't say too. I think a brick because it is strong. That's I think a calculator because it has many buttons, good. Manome, I think rule, a ruler is different because it's made of plastic, good. Bethy, I think money because used to buy. Okay, I think money because we use it to buy what we want. We use it to buy what we want. Umash, rulers because pencil along with. Oh, rulers because we use pencils along with them. Rulers because we use pencils along with them. Samuel, I think a calculator is different because it's a digital device. Seven four, I think money is different because it's not a construction tool. It's not a construction tool. All right, Ang, hello. Nice to meet you. I think much I think calculator, a calculator is different because it needs batteries. Regina, I think money is different because money is not a school item. There you go, Regina. Thank you. See, that's what I want to see. I want to see you fix your, that's how we learn. That's how we get better is fixing our mistakes. Very good, Regina. How about some more sentences, Regina? Lolly, a calculator because I am not good at maths. Tetsuro, I think money because we can buy a lot of items with it. Yes. Zara, I think money because it's made of paper. Or it's made from paper. Good. Umesh, money because it is important in life. Shams, I think money because it's to buy anything. Tamas, blueprints because it contains order, order, how to make something. Oh, okay. It contains... We don't need, okay, I'm not sure what that word is, or, okay, but Tomas, blueprints, because it contains directions how to make something. So it contains directions. Directions, Tomas. Mo, I think money, because we can spend more of them. Okay, okay, how about this, uh, Mo? I think money, because we can spend, or money, because it can bring joy. <laughs> I think money because it can bring joy. It can bring joy. Shams, I think dump truck because it's worker a big. Okay, Shams, 
I think a dump truck because it's used to build buildings. It's used to build buildings. Mary, I think money because it's an uncountable noun. Regina, I think a dump truck is different because a dump truck can bring all of those things. Yes, that's right. Good, Regina, right? You could put the bricks in the dump truck. You could put the paint cans in the dump truck and you can put the cement mixer in the dump truck. I like it. No wrong answers. You are using your imagination. You are expressing your your ideas in English. That's what communication is. You are communicating with me and with the other people in the chat in English. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, good. Tetsuo, I think rulers because they have many gradations. Siten. Okay, the TS like the sound of ch chair. T T okay T S C T N Oh your your name now okay Cheaten Cheaten okay I got it thank you Cheaten is that correct Yeah I want to say your name correctly for sure Cheaten okay I got it Cheaten or Chetin maybe Chetin right C H E, so Chetin, maybe Chetin. Okay, let's see, Tomas, a cement mixer because it needs electricity for working. Lolly, a dump truck because there is no L in it. Or is that a, let's see. I, maybe. Yeah, you're, okay, so an I, right, Lolly? Okay, a dump truck because there is no I in it. Bricks has an I. Paint has an I. Mixer has an I. Good, 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 good. Okay, Tomas, blueprints because directions. Yeah, okay, good, Tomas. Okay, um, let's change activities now, okay? This is a uh, review and I'm looking at the clock and it's time we change. Helga, hello, Helga. Oh boy, I that's too bad, Helga. Sweet Lana's in the house. Hello, Sweet Lana. Welcome, Sweet Lana. Welcome, Helga. Okay, we're changing activities. We're 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 moving ahead. We're 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 moving along. Keep the pace. Keep the pace moving. Okay. Ah, seven four says I think. The dump truck is different because you can drive it and carry a lot of construction tools to the construction sites. Good sentence. Tomas Bricks, because we can clear windows with it very fast. <laughs> okay, let, we don't need that window anymore. What's the best way to clear it? Ah, let's use the bricks. <laughs> Good one. I like it, Tomas. Okay, we're changing activities now. We're, we're going to our next activity. Regina. Mwah. I'm here, Regina. This is the first time I'm here. Regina, I'm here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for now. And then um, in August, also Saturday. So I'm here, Regina. Come back. Come back tomorrow, Regina. I'll be here tomorrow. This time tomorrow, please come back, and and you can um, you can practice with us, everyone in the chat, right? Okay, we're going to our third activity: dictation cards, everyone. Dictation cards, right here. You need a pencil, and you need paper. Because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Yes, dictation, practice. And today we're going to do it a little differently today, a little differently. This is an experiment, okay? I want to make the class better, right? Of course, I want to make your learning experience better. I want to keep people engaged, okay? I want to keep people 
active and so we're gonna do dictation cards a little different today we'll see how it works if it doesn't work then we will go back to the old way so we're gonna try a new way just just we're gonna do two steps okay dictation cards and our topic is the man the woman the people yeah so this is our topic the man the woman the people okay so each sentence is going to start with either the man or the woman or the people so we're going to practice sentences using the man the woman the people okay and today we're going to do two steps so normally we do four but today we're going to do two i'm going to see if if the speed is going to help so we'll just try it today so our first step dictation and I will go fast and slow. And um, there are eight cards, and I will say each sentence three times fast. You are going to listen to those sentences and write down the sentences. You will not see the card. You will not see the picture. You will not see the sentence. You will just purely listen and write. That is dictation. Then after we do it fast, then we will do it slow. That way you can check your sentences to see if you um, missed any words. If you need to fix your sentence, you will be able to do it then. Then after that, actually we'll do three steps. We're not, okay, I, we're going to do three. Then after that, we're going to shadow. And that is speaking practice. And we will not write the sentences. We will say the sentences and then we will talk about the meaning what does the sentence mean then we will have a quiz then I will choose three cards I will show you the picture and you have to write the sentence by only looking at the picture okay so we're gonna do three steps dictation shadow quiz and I will say each card fast, and then I will say each card slow. Okay, so you need a pencil and paper. Are you ready? Are you ready for dictation? Do you have a pencil? Do you have paper? Lolly is ready. Lolly has pencil. Lolly has paper. She is ready. Okay, here we go. Countdown. I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go fast. Tetro's got his fingers on the keyboard. Tetro's got his fingers on the keyboard. Okay, here we go. Mary's ready. Trolley is ready. 7413 is ready. <laughs> Manome is ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. Card number two. The people at the concert cheered loudly. The people at the concert cheered loudly. The people at the concert cheered loudly. That's hard to say. <laughs> Those last two words were hard to say together fast. Slowly is easy to say, but quickly it's difficult to say <laughs> okay here we go card number three countdown five four three two one the man who lives next door is a barber 
The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. Card number four. The, wo blah, blah, blah. the woman who won. Oh, gosh. See, saying them fast, it's a little difficult. My, my tongue gets twisted. Okay, here I, okay, here I go. One more time. Here we go. First time. The woman who won received a trophy. <laughs> the woman who won received a trophy. The woman who won received a trophy. Okay, here we go. Card number five. The girl walking her dog is my friend. The girl walking her dog is my friend. The girl walking her dog is my friend. Okay. Number six. Here we go. Number six. The man on the chair is reading. The man on the chair is reading. The man on the chair is reading. Okay. Number seven. We got two more left. Two more cards. This is card number seven. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The people on the bus waved at us. The people on the bus waved at us. The people on the bus waved at us. Okay, one more card. Here we go. Last card. And then I will go slow. Okay, so we went fast, fast, fast. After this, we will go slow, slow, slow. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. The people in this office are dedicated. The people in this office are dedicated. The people in this office are dedicated. Okay, that was fast. So maybe, I don't know, you're writing the sentences. Maybe there are some words you didn't hear or some words you didn't catch or, you know, like maybe the word order, you got, you got it a little mixed up. Well, now I will go slowly. And so now you can check your sentences, see if you made any mistakes. Okay, here we go. Slow. This is eight cards, dictation, slowly. <laughs> Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. Oh, Helga, no problem, Helga. Okay, here we go. Third time. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. Here we go. Second card, card number two. The people at the concert cheered loudly. See, it's much easier going slowly. <laughs> Second time. The people at the concert cheered loudly. Third time. The people at the concert cheered loudly. Card number three. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. Card number four. 
the woman who won received a trophy. The woman who won received a trophy. The woman who won received a trophy. Number five. The girl walking her dog is my friend. The girl walking her dog is my friend. The girl walking her dog is my friend. Card number six. Here we go. Number six. We got three left. Six, seven, eight. This is number six. The man on the chair is reading. The man on the chair is reading. The man on the chair is reading. Okay, number seven. Here we go. The people on the bus waved at us. The people on the bus waved at us. The people on the bus waved at us. Okay, here we go. Number eight, last card. The people in this office are dedicated. The people in this office are dedicated. The people in this office are dedicated. Okay, good, good, good. That was dictation. You wrote down the sentences. I went fast and then I went slow. So let's check it off. It's done. Now it's shadow time. <clears throat> this is speaking time. We're going to say the sentences together at the same time. Then I will show you the card. You will see the sentence. You will see the picture. And we will talk about the meaning of the sentence. Here we go. Countdown to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. There it is. The man I met yesterday was very friendly. Okay, I think you understand the meaning, right? So yesterday you met a man and he was very friendly. <laughs> the man I met yesterday was very friendly. Card number two, shadowing. The people at the concert cheered loudly. 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 Right? So all those people at the concert, they're cheering loudly using a big voice. Woo! They were very happy to see their favorite musician. So the people at the concert cheered loudly. Card number three. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. So next door means the person who lives next to your house. Here's your house. Your neighbor next door is either to the right of your house or to the left of your house. And that man, his job is to is um, cutting hair. <laughs> Someone who cuts hair, we call them a barber. Or actually, a, a barber is a person who cuts a man's hair. A barber cuts men's hair. All right. A stylist cuts women's hair, I guess. A barber, basic haircut, right? A, a, a basic haircut. 
Okay, I don't need barbers. No one, I don't go anywhere. I do it myself. DIY. <laughs> do it yourself. Okay, here we go. Number four. The woman who won received a trophy. The woman, the woman who won received a trophy. The woman who won received a trophy. <laughs> you saw that, Ella. Remember we talked about Mr. Bean when he was a barber? Oh, boy. How he cut the, the boy's hair. Remember that? That was funny, right? That was a good one. Mr. Bean the barber. Yeah. And then Mr. Bean was cutting the hair and, the, and then he got the money. Oh, boy. I'd do it again. <laughs> that, that, that was funny. That was a good one. Okay. Here, here is our sentence. The woman who won received a trophy, right? So when you win a tournament, like for example, a, a golf tournament or a tennis tournament or a badminton tournament, you get a trophy. The winner gets a trophy. Yeah, Tomas won the competition. Yeah, very funny, Ella. The woman who won received a trophy number five here we go the girl walking her dog is my friend 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 right oh that girl that the girl walking her dog which girl the girl walking her dog no, 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 not the girl sitting, no, the girl walking her dog. No, 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 not the girl jump roping, the girl walking her dog is my friend. Number six, the man on the chair is reading. 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 Um, how can I say? The man standing? No, 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 no. The man sitting on the chair. The man on the chair is reading. No, the man on the sofa. No, not the, not the man on the sofa. The man on the chair is reading. No, no, no. The man standing. Not the man standing. The man on the chair is reading. Number seven. The people on the bus waved at us. 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 So I'm standing and there's a bus that drove by and everybody's waving at us. So there, we are waiting at, we are, uh, we are standing on oh there's a parade <laughs> we're watching the parade we're watching the parade and a bus drove by and the people waved at us and so we waved back the people on the bus waved at us we are watching the parade and as the bus drove by the people waved at us okay here we go last card number eight the people in this office are dedicated. 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 So the people who work here, they are dedicated. That means they do a, you know, they, they take pride in their work. They are they want to do a good job. They are, um, they, they have lots of drive. They, they are hard workers. They are dedicated to do a good job. They are committed. They are, they feel a duty to do a good job. They're great people to work with. It's good to work with dedicated people because they are serious and, um, they, they are, um, we can get we can get inspiration from them <laughs> the
The people in this office are dedicated. Dedication. I'm dedicated to you. I'm here every week. I'm, I've been doing this a long time. I am dedicated. They do their best. Yes, good Lolly. Okay, nice job. We shadowed, we said the sentences. They like to work here. Good, Tomas. Okay, we're, we're checking off. Now we got a quiz. So now we're not, so we're, we're usually we do uh, uh, take turns, but we're not going to do that today. So the quiz is going to be maybe a little more difficult for you because you're not going to see the card. You're not going to see the sentence. <laughs> It's quiz time. So do you remember the sentences? Okay, so uh, we're not, we're going from shadowing to the quiz, right? So we're jumping to the quiz. So it's a challenge. Here we go. I'm going to take three cards from the top and then I'm going to cover the sentence so you can only see the picture. Write the sentence based on the picture. Do you remember? Okay, stop shuffling. I did, Helga, you can do it. You always do it, Helga. Don't be shy, Helga. Here we go. Card number one. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. And blah, blah, blah. Write the sentence in the chat. I'm going to cover it. So you have to look at the picture from the picture. Do you remember the sentence? Here we go. Number one. Write the sentence in the chat. Oh, and the cards are on my Patreon. So join my Patreon and get the cards. All the cards are right there on my Patreon. Oh, no, a jet is flying over. Maybe it's noisy. The jet is making lots of noise. Tetsuro is on the board. Tomas is on the board. Lolly is on the board. Helga is on the board. Trolley is on the board. There's another jet. That's two jets. Can we count the jets? This is jet number two. Cecilia is on the board. Ong is on the board, Mary's on the board, Umesh is on the board, Mitra's on the board, Matsura, Manome. Okay, no problem. Sweet Lana, I see Sweet Lana. Okay, here we go. Let's check the sentence. How did you do? Here we go. It's coming down. How did you do? Here we go. The man who lives next door is a barber. The man who lives next door is a barber. Very good, everyone. Nicely done. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Number two. Card number two. We got three cards. So this is the middle card. Here we go. Sent or Card number two in the quiz. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Tetsuro's on the board. Helga's on the board. Regina's on the board. Tomas is on the board. Mary's on the board. Lolly's on the board. Sweet Lana. Tro Lee. Ong. Okay. Umesh is on the board. Okay, let's have a look at the sentence. Matsura is there. Cecilia is there. 7-4 is there, Samuel, 
Here we go. We're coming down. Here it is. Mope is there. <clears throat> Never give up. Here we go. That is the sentence. The people at the concert cheered loudly. One more time. The people at the concert cheered loudly. Nicely done. We have one more card. This is number three. Oh, here comes another jet. It's fun. <laughs> here we go. Card number three. Please write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Okay. Regina is on the board. Never, hello. Oh, never give up. This is number three. Sweet Lon, okay. Uh, lo, 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 let's see. Bethy, Helga, Tetsuro, Trolli, Lolly, Matsura, Mary. Hey, Wawan is here. Wawan is on the board. Umesh, Cecilia, Manome, Sweet Lana. Oh, Maya. Maya, I didn't, did I say hello? I think I said hello to you. Maya, kiss. Mwah. Ah, I know. Maya says her memory is like a sieve. And so sieve is like a drain. And so like your memory just goes out like a drain. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Here it is, and the card is coming down. Okay, good, Maya. Okay, here we go. The girl walking her dog is my friend. Good, good, good. Yeah, Maya, I didn't see you much in the chat. That's why, like, I didn't see you many times in the chat. And the sentence is, the girl walking her dog is my friend. Good job, everybody. That was dictation cards. We did dictation practice. We did shattering practice. And we had a quiz to check our comprehension. Yeah. Okay. Good job, everyone. And now it is time for activity number four. Number four. Number four. That is... Lolly's Revenge. Okay, now remember these cards are on my Patreon right there. And Lolly's Revenge too. Lolly's Revenge, that paper is on my Patreon. Support me there and get all the paperwork or get all the worksheets, the flashcards. And there's a seven day trial offer, seven days free. Check it out. Please, um, Check out the special offer, and then you can get everything. Okay, we're doing Lolly's Revenge, and here it is right here. And there are four steps for Lolly's Revenge. Whoops, there's E right there. Okay, Lolly's, Lolly's Revenge. Part one or step one is the conversation. Step two, questions and answers. Step three, we're gonna read it, reading. And step four, we are going to shadow speaking practice. We will be Joe, we will be Sue. Okay, so I'll read the conversation three times. So please listen carefully because then I will ask you questions about the conversation. So the two people in the conversation are Joe and Sue. This is Joe. When you see my thumb, Joe is speaking. When you see my little finger, my pinky, 
Sue is speaking, okay? So say hello to Joe. Hi, Joe. Say hello to Sue. Hi, Sue. Okay, and I will read the conversation three times, then I will ask you questions. So please listen carefully. Here we go. Three times. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Joe is first. <clears throat> Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure, things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? <laughs> okay, that was one time. I, I will read it two more times. Here we go. This is Joe. This is Sue. Here is the second time. Lolly, no problem. I will read it slower. Slower. <laughs> I will read it slower. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes. Don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure. Things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? Okay, here we go. Third time. This is the last time. I'm going to read it one more time and then I will ask you four questions, okay? So here we go. Joe is first and this is the last time, so please listen carefully. Helga, yes. Payroll, a list of company employees and the amount of money they are to be paid. Exactly. Okay, here we go. This is the third time. Thank you for doing that, Helga. You are helping many people by doing that. And you're helping me too, Helga, because I don't have to um, do that. <laughs> I, can just, I can just say the sentence and I don't have to um, explain everything. So you are helping me, Helga, and you're helping other people too. Oh, interesting, Tomas. Very interesting. Okay, here we go. Last time, this is Joe. Joe is first. Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes, don't you remember? There's a night shift. Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure. Things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the conversation. I read the conversation. Now I'm going to ask you questions about the
the conversation. So please answer the questions. <laughs> Here we go. Question number one. What did Joe show Sue? <laughs> what did Joe show Sue? Joe show. Like those two words go, they kind of blend in. Joe show. Joe show. That might be difficult for some people. What did Joe show Sue? What? I'll go, I'll, I'll break up the words more because Joe show kind of, <laughs> that sounds strange. Okay. What did Joe show Sue? There's five words. What did Joe show Sue? All right. Good, Lolly. Tetsuro. Yes, Bethy. Joe showed Sue the photo from work. Joe showed. Can you? Let's all say it together. What did Joe show Sue? What did Joe show Sue? Joe showed Sue a photo from work. Joe showed Sue a photo from work. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's do it together. Let's look at Mary's sentence. Mary has a good sentence there. Joe showed Sue a photo from work. Joe showed Sue a, a photo from work. Joe showed Sue a photo from work. One more time. Joe showed Sue a photo from work. <clears throat> I need some water after that. <clears throat> Okay, good job, everyone. That is correct. Joe showed Sue a photo from work. Here we go. Question number two. Number two. Who's the man in the blue shirt? Who's the man in the blue shirt? Two. Showed her. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 that is easier. Showed her. Joe showed, but, but, no, 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 the, um, the, the, the difficulty is Joe show. <laughs> Joe show. Joe show. Joe show. Kind of sounds like Japanese. Joe show. Show show. So, like, um, in Japanese, show show kudasai, or show show mate kudasai. Show show mate kudasai. So, show show, that's, that's Japanese. Show show. Show show mate kudasai. Jo show, jo show. Okay, uh, number two. Who's the man in the blue shirt? Question two. Who's the man in the blue shirt? Okay, Helga. Oh, okay, Tomas. Trolley. I'm going back. I'm seeing. Bethy. Tetsuro. Okay. I mean, oh. Regina. Okay, Regina. The man is the man in the blue shirt is a night shift worker. A night shift worker. Tetsuro, the man. That's the man who works the night shift. Good, Tetsuro. Bethy, he is the one who works the night shift. Trolley, that's the man who works the night shift. Perfect. Tomas, he works. Not in, we just say he works the night shift. So we don't use in. He works the night shift. Helga, the man works the night shift. Lolly, that's the man who works the night shift. Good sentence, Mary. That's the man who works the night shift. Yes, Maya, the man in the blue shirt works the night shift. Trolley, the man in the blue shirt is a night shift worker, is a night shift worker. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua, Joshua. Yeah, yeah, Tomas. Joshua, Joshua. <laughs> when I when I wrote the when I wrote the conversation, I I I I didn't say it, right? I'm just 
in my mind I'm writing it, but then just now is the first time I'm speaking it. And so, wow, Joshua, Joshua. <laughs> ah, okay, that's right. So Lolly, she she works the night shift. She's she's a nurse in a hospital, and Lolly works the night shift. Lolly says, I am a night shift worker. So night shift, right? They work like midnight to 8 a.m. or something, right? So so you have like three shifts. You have like the the day shift. That would be like normal, like let's say nine to five, nine in the morning to five p.m. And then you have the the swing shift. Swing, like you know, like kids in a park, they play on a swing. So the swing shift, swing shift, maybe that's like um, I don't know, four to midnight, something like that. Maybe uh, four to midnight. And then you have the night shift. That's like midnight to 8 a.m., something like that. Nine to six. There we go. Lolly, night shift for her at her hospital is 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Helga, that is very true. That's true, Helga. Okay, here we go. Number three, question number three. Who's the woman with long hair? Question number three. Who's the woman with long hair? Question three. Who's the woman with long hair? Who's the woman with long hair? Who's the woman with long hair? Let's see. Tetsuro. That's Jennifer who does the payroll. Helga. That's Jennifer who does the payroll. Umesh. That woman with long hair is Jennifer. Lolly. That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. Mary. That's the that's the woman who does the payroll. So you need the Mary. Samuel, she's Jennifer and works the payroll. Good, Samuel. Tomas, she does the payroll. I think everybody loves her. <laughs> she's very popular, right? Everyone's kind to Jennifer. Everyone loves Jennifer. Everyone brings Jennifer donuts in the morning. Maybe Jennifer's getting fat because everyone brings her sweets <laughs> because she does the payroll. All right, very good. Yeah, one one. Okay, Cecilia. Okay, good job, everyone. Okay, we're going to the fourth. Uh, here we go, question number four. Why is Joe's work running smoothly? So it's not really Question number four is not really in the conversation. So you have to kind of use your own idea here. Okay, so question number four is your interpretation, your idea. Why is Joe's work running smoothly? Why is Joe's work running smoothly? Okay, Shams, that woman is Jennifer who has long hair. Okay, so number four is your idea, right? Your interpretation, you use your imagination. You have to like uh, read between the lines. So it's not in the conversation exactly. You have to kind of just give it your idea. And number four, the question is, why is Joe's work running smoothly? And Lolly says, maybe Joe sucks up to his boss to get the best for his team. That's very good, Lolly. So what Lolly is saying is, Joe sucks up. That means you are like treating the boss like the boss is king, right? You suck up to the boss. Yes, boss. Oh, boss, you're the best. 
but you're the best boss. You have the best company. You, this, this company is the best because of you, right? So Joe Lolly saying Joe sucks up to the boss. So his team gets uh, what they need. So then the boss is going to give Joe's team what they need. And so everything's going to work smoothly because Joe's team, the, the, his coworkers have what they need to make everything run smoothly. That's a good, that's good, Lolly. Helga says, maybe Joe is a boss there. Oh, Umesh, because everybody is working hard. Good, Umesh. 7-4, because Joe, Joe wants to convince his boss to get the best out of his team. Good, 7-4. Bethy, Joe works, Joe works running smoothly because they all have good pay. Oh, okay. How about this, Bethy? Um, Joe's work is running smoothly because everyone gets a good wage or everyone's paid good. It works, or it, it, it's run smoothly because everyone gets paid well. It runs smoothly because everyone gets paid well. That's good. Tomas, because everybody is dedicated at his office. Good. Monica, that everything is as it should be. Good, Monica. Mitra, maybe after. Okay, I'm not sure. Mitra, one more time. Oh, flatter, right? So suck up, flatter. Oh, boss, you're the best. <laughs> oh, boss, your company is the best because you are the boss. <laughs> Tetsuo, because all the staff, except for Joe, are very good workers. <laughs> Trolley, maybe Joe is a worker there. Umesh, Joe works running smoothly because everybody is kind. One one because of new jobs, Shams. That okay, uh, Samuel. Because Joe is a professional person for that work. Umash Joe is running smoothly because not only he works hard, but also everybody is on time. <coughs> good, good. <coughs> sorry, I, I got a cough. I'm I'm going to turn off my mic. I'm sorry. I got to take a cough. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Whew, I had to um, I had to give a good cough there. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. That that was okay. That was it, everybody. That was the questions. Good. Okay, now let's read the conversation together. All right. So, I will put the conversation on the screen so we can read it together. The um, conversations on my Patreon, right? So we have the conversation and the questions. So it's on my Patreon, and I will also put it on the screen so we could read it together. There it is. <clears throat> okay, here um, I gotta make it a little bit smaller. <clears throat> A little bit smaller. Okay, there it is. Okay, so Joe is first. Joe says, Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure, things have been running smoothly. 
That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? Let's do it again. Okay. One more. We're going to do it three times. We're going to read it three times. Here's the second time. Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes. Don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? <clears throat> That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure, things have been running smoothly. That's good. Who is that? Oh, that's good. Is that because of you, Joe? Okay, we're going to go one more time. Joe is first. Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes. Don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure. Things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Okie dokie. Um, now let's shadow, shall we? So let's check it off. We did the reading. Now we're going to shadow. We're going to say the sentence. We're going to be Joe. We're going to be Sue. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> shadow, we are speaking at the same time. And we are going to do the conversation together. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Sue, want to see a photo from work? Want to see a photo from work? Want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. That's the man who works the night shift. That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? The night shift? The night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? <clears throat> oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. All the people seem happy. All the people seem happy. For sure, things have been running smoothly. For sure, things have been running smoothly. For sure, things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? <laughs> That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? Okay, good, good, good. That was shadowing. Let's look at the conversation one more time. Let's read it one more time. Okay, Joe says, Sue, want to see a photo from work? I'd love to. Who's the man wearing the blue shirt? That's the man who works the night shift. The night shift? Yes, don't you remember there's a night shift? Oh, yes. Who's the woman with the long hair? That's Jennifer. She does the payroll. All the people seem happy. For sure. Things have been running smoothly. That's good. Is that because of you, Joe? 
Okay, good, 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 good. All right, that was Lolly's Revenge. That was Joe and Sue, their conversation. Okay, and remember, the conversation is on my Patreon. Okay, let's do our next activity. Number five, everybody. Number five. We have done one, we have done two, we have done three, we have done four. Now it's time for five. Five is 10. Very short conversations. And we're gonna watch a video and do a worksheet. Video and worksheet. Okay, here we go. Oh, and this is number 15. It's a, it's a review. We, we did 16, but we forgot to review 15. So I don't want to forget to review. So we're going to go ahead. We haven't done 15. It's been a couple weeks, maybe. Here is 15. We are going to watch the video and then do the worksheet. So I will put the video on the screen so we can do it together. In the first part, we're gonna say each sentence three times. Then in the second part, we will um, do it together. We will be the conversation, okay? You know what we do. You know the routine. Let's watch the video first. There it is. Let's make it bigger. We're making it full screen. We're doing it full screen. Okay, let's roll the video here. Okay, this is 15. Okay, there it is. And here we go. We're gonna say each sentence three times together. Here we go. Got the toiletries? Got the toiletries? Got the toiletries? <clears throat> Yes, I got them. Yes, I got them. Yes, I got them. Got the toiletries? Yes, I got them. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> You work too much. You work too much. You work too much. I'm exhausted. You work too much. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Well done, well done, well done. It's all good, well done. Um, exhausted means um, very, very tired. So exhausted means, so Manome asked, what does exhausted mean? Exhausted means you are super tired. Very, very, very tired. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it's not. What what's the word? So exhausted. It's a, um, it's not used as much as tired. So it it, so it doesn't come up as much. So it's oh, it's a it's a, um, it's, it's less frequently used. So it's an infrequently used word. So the the more frequent words. The, the easier they are because they're used more often and the less frequently used words used less often are more difficult because you don't hear them as much. Okay. Yeah, worn out. You can say that, Bethy. <clears throat> Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Yeah, Tomas, you could say that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Your order is ready. Thank you. Can I use your pencil? Can I use your pencil? Can I use your pencil? Yes, here you are. Yes, here you are. Yes, here you are. Can I use your pencil? Yes, here you are. Um, seven four, we say, we don't say too much, it's burned out. I'm burned out. Not, you don't say too much, okay? Just, I'm burned out. You are looking healthy. You are looking healthy. You are looking healthy. That's good. That's good. That's good. You are looking healthy. That's good. I've got a pile of work. I've got a pile of work. I've got a pile of work. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I've got a pile of work. Good luck. I need paper. I need paper. I need paper. I've got some. I've got some. I've got some. I need paper. I've got some. Yes, Lolly, you can say a stack of work. I've got a stack of work. Yes, yes. Are you going up? Are you going up? Are you going up? <clears throat> yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Are you going up? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Can you turn on the light? Can you turn on the light? Can you turn on the light? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you turn on the light? Yes, I can. Okay, here we go. We're doing it together now. I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And... You will go second. You will be the blue sentences. Here we go. Got the toiletries. I'm exhausted. It's all good. Yeah, Ella. Your order is ready. Can I use your pencil? You are looking healthy. I've got a pile of work.
I need paper. Are you going up? Can you turn on the light? Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences. And I will go second. I will be the blue sentences. Yes, I got them. You work too much. Well done. Thank you. Yes, here you are. That's good. Good luck. Uh oh, there's a spelling mistake there. <laughs> Didn't see that. I've got some. Yes, thank you. Yes, I can. I know, Lolly. I can't believe. It's the first time I, I just noticed that. Oh, my. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we're going to do... So maybe some of you noticed there's right there. Ah, it's not pole. It's pile. P-I. Oh, no. I can't believe it. I do it all the time. Ah, get, I get angry at myself. Okay. And, and Lolly, Lolly says here, um, so you are looking healthy. And then Lolly, we can't say you are looking in good shape or you are looking in good shape. I, you are looking in good shape. Now, mm, um, you are, yeah, you, uh, oh, you can say that, Lol. I guess, yeah, you can say that. Okay, Regina has a question. Regina says, it's hard to make the R sound. Can you show us how to make the R sound? Yes, I can. I have a good, good way of showing you the R sound. Okay, so Regina has a question, a pronunciation question. So, of course, I'm here to help. So, for R, it sounds like, like a lion, you know, roar. So, you go, rrr, rrr. And so, your, your mouth isn't, nothing's really happening in your mouth. It's more just like, rrr, rrr. So, for example, order, paper, prefer, so ring, red, ribbon, rainbow, 
and then we go paper prefer so it's er so everyone make the like a growl like you're a lion er er can you do that roar roar er right and so that's our r sound just it's just a er <laughs> It's easy, right? It's easy if you do it that way, right? Urgh. Paper. <laughs> like lions. Urgh. Roar. That's right. Roar. So the R is just a roar. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, is that good, Regina? Is that good? Okay, let's do our worksheet now. And the worksheet's on my Patreon. Mwah, come on support me on patreon come on come on and you get all the worksheets support me so i can support you come on come on i'm trying to get I'm trying to get my patreon up so there is a special offer right now seven days try it for free you don't have all you have to do is just try it for one week and if you find the the worksheets useful the flashcards useful please sign up for every month Every month, it's $5, just $5 a month for lots and lots of worksheets. There's over 100. There's hundreds of worksheets on my Patreon. Try it for seven days, free for seven days if you like it. Then pay $5 each month, right? A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee is $5. You get all those worksheets each month for only $5. Okay. Let's go to the worksheet now. Where is the worksheet? There's the worksheet. Let's, so you're gonna make sentences in the chat, right everybody? You're gonna make sentences. And how the worksheet, most of you know, but maybe some of you don't. On the top here, there's the picture and the conversation in the video, right? And then under, the conversation, there is a pattern and example. So we have conversation, pattern, example. And then you're going to write sentences using the pattern. You're gonna use the pattern to make sentences. So let's um, make the worksheet bigger and let's go over the conversation and the patterns and the examples and then you will make your own sentences using the pattern the patterns okay let's make it full screen here okay okay here we go so conversation number one got the toiletries yes i got them pattern got the Example, got the house keys. Number two, I'm exhausted. You work too much. Pattern, I'm. Example, I'm a little hungry. Conversation three, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm sorry, I, we have space to make it a little bit bigger. It'll help people maybe. Okay. Number three, it's all good, well done. Pattern, it's all. Example, it's all done now. Number four, your order is ready. Thank you. Pattern, your. Example, your coat is in the closet. Five, can I use your pencil? Yes, here you are. Pattern, can I use your? Example, can I use your telephone? Six, you are looking healthy. That's good. Pattern, you are. Example, you are going the wrong way. Number seven, I've got a pile of work. Good luck. <laughs> Set, or pattern, I've got. Example, I've got to cook dinner. Number eight, I need paper. I've got some. Pattern, I need. Example, I need to buy some eggs. Number nine, are you going up? Yes, thank you. Pattern, are you? Example, are you waiting for the bus? And then number 10, can you turn on the light? Yes, I can. 
pattern. Can you? Example, can you take me to the store? Okay, so here we go. You write your own sentences using the pattern. So, for example, gotta, I'm, it's all, your, can I use your, you are, I've got, I need, are you, can you? So, those are the patterns you will use to make your sentences. Okay, Tetsuro's on the board. Got the utensils. Wow, you are quick. Lolly, got your clothes? Yes, I got them. Sweet Lana, got an orange juice? Yes, I got it. 7-4, it's all fine. Well, thanks. Helga, it's all in order now. You cleaned? Okay, Helga, you cleaned your room well. You cleaned your room well. Trolley, I'm a little hungry. Bethy, I'm freezing. It's below zero. Cecilia, got, got an idea. Yes, I got it. Or got the idea. Okay, Cecilia, yep, got the idea. Yes, I got it. That's okay, Cecilia. Regina, got the meals. Trolley, it's all fixed now. So, it's all fixed. Helga, your cat is in the tree. Oh my God. Regina, I'm fairly thirsty. Fairly means a little. Trolley, your coat is in the closet. Cecilia, I'm thirsty. Here's your water. Lolly, I am so happy. Yes, you are because you are, you are doing a good job. I'm so happy. Yes, you are because you are doing a good job. Cecilia, it's all done. Great job. Ah, Regina, it's all a wrap. So it's a wrap. It's all wrap. Okay, Regina, it's a wrap. That means it's finished. It's a wrap. Helga, can I use your glasses? Yes, try them on. Tetro, I'm sick and tired of doing my homework. Don't complain, do it. Cecilia, uh, you're a little, you're a little bit weird today. I have, I had a weird dream yesterday. Okay, Cecilia, you're a little weird today. I had a weird dream yesterday. Helga, you cleaned your room well, good. Mary. Got the sunblock? Yes, I got it. Cecilia, can I use your eraser? Yes, here you are. Lolly, it's all okay. Yes, it's all fixed now. Trolley, can I use your book? Yes, here you are. Regina, your order will be ready for some... Okay, in a few minutes. Regina, your order will be ready in a few minutes. In a few minutes. Mope. I need, I need more silence. Good luck. <laughs> silence. Cecilia, you are really fast because my leg got run. Oh, you are really fast. Yes, thank you. That's all you, that's good. Yes, thank you. Uh, sweet Lana, I'm a thirsty person. <laughs> or no, no, I'm sorry. God, I'm a happy person. I... Have a great family. Could I use your cell phone for a call? Yes, certainly. But remember, be careful with my phone. Regina, can I use your dictionary? Cecilia, I've got a test today. Good luck. Helga, you are dancing nicely. Thank you for the compliment. You are dancing nicely. Trolley, you are going the wrong way. Lolly, because you are doing a good job. Yes. Cecilia, I need something, something like this. That's so it's all about friendship. It's all about friendship. That's it. Um, okay, you don't need is important. That's all. It's all about friendship. That's that's good. 
Regina, you are the only one. Helga, I've got good news. Ah, we don't use, you have news, so you don't use ah. I've got good news. Cecilia, are you hungry? So news is um, uncountable. Uh, Regina, I've got a dream. Trolley, I need milk. I've got some. Mary, it's all obvious. I agree. Lolly, your book is on the shelf near the pencil. Thanks. I see it. Helga, I need mineral water. Let's go to the shop. Tetsuro, your bravery is brilliant. Thanks a bunch. Trolley, are you waiting for the bus? Yes, thank you. Samuel, can I use your cell phone? Yes, here you are. Bethy, you are looking fit. Yes, I've been doing exercises since last month. Exercises. Or you could say I've been exercising since last month. That's probably better, Bethy. You're looking fit. Yes, I have been exercising since last month. Sweet Lana, it's all yours, but I don't need that much. <laughs> Mary, your dog is very friendly. Thank you. Regina, I need new shoes because the old ones, the old ones are old fashioned or out of fashion. You should say out of fashion, Regina. I need new shoes because my old ones are out of fashion. My old ones are out of fashion. Samuel, you are going the wrong way. That's terrible. Lolly, can I use your sunglasses? Sure, here you are. Regina, are you free this weekend? Helga, are you walking a dog? No, it's my hamster over there. Sweet Lana, your bike is fixed. Thank you. Tetsuro, can I use your car? Sorry but I need it today. Or you could say, sorry, I need to use it today. I need to use it today. Mary, can I use your umbrella? For sure. Mope, can I, can I read your, I read your one joke. Okay, Mope, one more time. I'm not sure. I'm confused. Lolly. You are looking sad. Yes, I lost my keys. Oh no, I'm late for work. I can't get in my car because I lost my keys and I'm late for work and my boss is gonna be very angry. <laughs> I'm so sad. Samuel, I need to buy some eggs. I've got some. Bethy, I've got to study for tomorrow's exam. Good luck. Tetsuo. You are going down. Wow, I just made a mistake. I just made a mistake. Trolley, can you set the table? Yes, I can. Lolly, I've got to bake an onion pie. Yummy, I can't wait. Mary, you are the best English teacher. <laughs> Regina, I need new shoes because my old ones are out of fashion. Good, Regina. Samuel, are you waiting for the bus? Yes, I am. Tetra, I've got a pile of books. Can you lend me some? Lolly, I need some flour to bake a pie. Go to the grocery store. Mary, I've got a lot of work to do today. I've got a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. I've got a lot to do today. Yes, good sentence. Maya, can I use your cards with short conversations? Yes, you can. That's what they're for. That's what they are for. Helga, can you take this bag? For sure. Lolly, are you going to the party? Yes, it'll be fun. So Lolly, you are using future, right? 
So, okay, I will have fun. Um, yes. Or you could say, have fun. Are you going to the party? Yes. It will be fun. That's better. It will be fun. Are you going to the party? Yes, it will be fun. Bethy, are you leaving for the airport soon? So, Bethy, for the airport. Tetra, I need water. I think so because here is the center of the desert. Don't go to the desert without water. You need water in the desert. Oh, Shams. Mwah. Very welcome, Shams. Mary, I need some apples to make apple pie for dinner. Oh, Mary, I love apple pie. Can I have a piece of your apple pie? Good, Lolly. It'll be fun. Mope, are you waiting for a winner? Are you waiting for a winner? Tetsuo, are you... Oh, let me... Let's look at number 10 here. Okay. Um, Tetsuo, are you going straight? No. Nope. I'll turn left soon. Regina, are you going to study abroad? Lolly, I need some food. I am starving. Me too. I need dinner. <laughs> I'm starving. I am very, very hungry. That's true. True story. It's 7 p.m. And I didn't really have lunch today. I had like a little, I had an English muffin with peanut butter. And I had... I had an English mu muffin with peanut butter and a scone. That was my lunch today. Not, not so good. Maya, I'm more than sure Mary's apple pies are delicious. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they are too, Maya. And I want a piece. I want to try her apple pie for sure. I love apple pie. And apple pie is something... You know, there are good, there's good apple pie and not so good. And there's great apple pie. So apple pie can vary. <laughs> it depends, right? You could go to a restaurant and the apple pie can be okay. You know, it's okay. But then it could be fantastic, right? Beef steak. I like beef steak sandwich. Helga, I like beef steak sandwich. Bethy, are you going to meet your long time, or no, sorry, sorry. Are you going to meet your long lost friend? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm, I'm starved. I'm so hungry. I want to go. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to go home and eat dinner. I want to eat. I want to eat. I'm losing my energy, too. I'm losing power. Yeah, there you go, Tetsuo. I made a mistake. I'm losing, I'm losing my energy, everybody. <laughs> I'm, 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 my, I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, a robot and my, my batteries are, going down. I'm losing energy. I am No, I'm not a robot. <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> but I'm exhausted. I am. I work this morning. So I work at a university. And on Tuesdays, I have morning classes. And so I worked all morning. And then I came here, I got our live stream class ready. So I'm very, very tired. I'm exhausted. My batteries are down. So I want to go home. <laughs> I want to eat. I want to take a shower. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Helga, we'll send you energy. Thank you, Helga. Oh, thank you. Positive, give me positive energy, positive energy. That's what, um, when
when my classes do speaking tests, right? So um, at my at my university, I teach conversation classes, communication classes, and, and so um, my students do speaking tests in groups, right? They have a, a they make a conversation and then they perform their conversation in class. And so before they do it, I tell everyone, okay, give them positive energy, positive energy, right? Because when you're giving a presentation, you need that positive energy. Okay, let's say goodbye, everyone. <laughs> the, oh, wait, wait, no, we can't say goodbye yet. We got a poll to do. Oh, no, how can I forget? So I got a little more energy, okay? Come on, everybody, give me some positive energy here. Thank you, Tetsuro. Okay, I'm feeling the positive energy. I'm feeling the positive energy. Okay, I can do it, everybody. I can do it. Here's number six, the poll. Number six, the poll. I'm feeling the positive energy from you. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so in the chat, there's a blue box in the chat. Let's open it up. I'm going to open it up. And 82 people voted. Mwah, thank you very much, everybody. Oh, Lolly, I can give you a lift. Thank you, Lolly. Now, um, there are, four, oh, I'm losing it. Okay, I got it. Okay, here we go. I almost, I was dying there for a minute. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the quiz? And I want you to choose the best word. And the sentence goes like this. My favorite mm, to eat for breakfast is pancakes. And there are four words. Choose the best word. We got Fruit, cereal, bread, dish. <laughs> Choose the best word. And does the sentence go like this? My favorite fruit to eat for breakfast is pancakes. My favorite cereal to eat for breakfast is pancakes. My favorite bread to eat for breakfast is pancakes. Or my favorite dish to eat for breakfast is pancakes. Choose the best word. Is it fruit? Is it cereal? Is it bread? Is it dish? Which is the best word? <laughs> Good luck. Bangladesh is in the house. Hello. Okay, Tetsuo says dish. Ella says dish. Trolley says dish. Hello, Bangladesh. Welcome, welcome. Sweet Lana says dish. Lolly says, I don't know. Mary, dish. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. I appreciate it. Maya says dish. Okay, and you got it. That's right. So the sentence should be the best word is my favorite dish to eat for breakfast is pancakes so pancakes that's a dish right that's a meal so um pancakes is a dish so you go to a coffee shop for breakfast or you know like go to a restaurant for for breakfast and there are dishes right you get like eggs and or ham and eggs and then there are you know, waffles and, and pancakes, they're a dish. So the sentence should be, my favorite dish to eat for breakfast is pancakes. Okay, good job, everybody. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys for being here. I appreciate your support. I will be back tomorrow, everyone, Wednesday, this time tomorrow, 5 p.m. I live in Japan, so 5 p.m., Japan time. I will be right here tomorrow. That will be May 31st, the last day of the month. Yeah, Lolly, you got it. Good, good, good. Oh, thank you, Helga. Everyone loves pancakes. I Yes, Maya. Mwah, that, I like it. Yes, I do too. Everybody loves pancakes. I love pancakes. 
Thank you, Tetsuro. And everybody, I have a Patreon. Support me there. Get all the worksheets. Please do that. There's a link in the descriptions. There's a seven day free trial. Check it out. Try it for seven days. If you like it, then it's only $5 each month. But you can try it for free for seven days. Please do that. Go check it out. I also have a website, markkulik.com. There you get worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos. On my Patreon, it's the live stream worksheets. On my website, it's the VODs, videos on demand, worksheets there. Join the channel. We had a new member today, so thank you. Um, Ch Chet, Chet. Uh, maybe. Oh, I forgot. Oh, thank you so much, Ahmed. Okay. Well, um, I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. Love you. Peace and love. Smile. Be healthy. Stay safe. Maya. Mwah. Thank you, Maya. I will. I just need to go home and, and have some food. <laughs> Okay, have a great time, everyone, and I'll be back tomorrow. So until tomorrow, let's count down and say goodbye. Thank you so much. You, you guys are the best. I have the best people in the chat for sure. Love you. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Okay, let's say, yep, yeah, positive is important. Positive energy, everyone. Positive energy. Oh, good, Ahmed. Good, good. And Ahmed, join my Patreon and you could get lots of practice right here with the worksheets. Lots of sentences with the worksheets. <laughs> oh, Lolly, you're very kind. Okay, we're going to say goodbye together. We're going to count down until tomorrow, right? We'll be back here tomorrow. So soon, soon, very soon. Okay, here we go. Let's count down together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. One, thank you so much, everyone. Love and peace. Say, stay safe. Smile. Be healthy. And I will be back tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.